It was in October last year, there had been an incident in Ipswich itself. Um, there was a, a serious assault and a, a male was seen to run off with a, a large carving knife. Uh, he was followed through the streets by other officers, um, engaged several times, but he was in a very, very agitated state. Um, he was, uh, the CS spray or Parva spray was used, um, the taser was used, but which had little or no effect. Uh, it got to a position where he was cornered in, uh, in the front guard of a house where he was trying to gain entry to, and um, it got to a stage where it had to come to a conclusion, and uh, I had to use Ammon to, to put Ammon on him to subdue him. And obviously, what well, well he did, he got hold of his arm, and unfortunately he got stabbed about four or five times in the, the, his top left shoulder. And uh, obviously once that happened, I've then got hold of the, the male and I got stabbed myself four times as well. Not something that you want to come across every day of the week. <laughs> At the end of the day, he's my partner. If he's, if he's getting hurt, the problem is he wasn't backing off. So it was either go in or he got more seriously hurt and I weren't prepared to let that happen. <laughs> technology is a lovely thing, but technology isn't foolproof. I mean, dogs are not foolproof. But the, the, the good thing about if you've got a police dog and a police dog handler on duty, they can, you know, you're, you're there to, to, to react to things that's like spontaneous incidents. I mean, yes, we do things that are pre-planned, but the fact that we're out there, the dogs are, have got particular skills that a lot of people can't have, like tracking criminals down, finding them, and obviously he can run a lot faster than what the policeman can, and he's a lot quicker than what the barbs of a, a taser can go. So they have got their place, but unfortunately, I think all forces are finding it hard and numbers are being cut, which is very sad. I've never been to Cross before, and um, it's, it's uh, surprising how big this place is. I've, I've never realised that, you know, you see it on the TV yourself, but you don't realise how much the logistics are, how many dogs there are here. But uh, it's a, a good experience. We won't be able to do it again because I'll be retiring in 10 months with him, so.